We're given a vector valued function and we're asked to find the derivative. Let's go ahead and work it out. So first let's start by rewriting our function in a way that will allow us to take the derivative easily. So the square root of t can be written as t to the one half. And then here we have the i. This piece looks okay. So this is plus one minus t cubed j. And this piece also looks okay. So this is the secant of 3t k. Now we're ready to take the derivative. So we'll just take the derivative of each of the components. So here we'll use the power rule. We'll bring the 1 half downstairs. And we'll subtract 1 so we get negative 1 half. And then we have i. Here the derivative of 1 is 0. So we just bring 3 downstairs. So we get minus 3 t squared j. The derivative of secant is secant tangent, so this is plus secant 3t tangent 3t. And then we have to use the chain rule. The derivative of the inside is 3. The last thing to do is maybe write the 3 out in the front. So r prime of t. We can also bring this downstairs and make it positive. Let's go ahead and do that. This is 1 over 2 square root of t, right, because it's t to the one-half. i minus 3t squared j plus 3 secant 3t tangent 3t k. And that is the final answer. That is the derivative of the vector-valued function. I hope this helps.